good to him, won't you? Hey guys, so I brought back John Michael, and we are here to do a review on The Boy. We just went and saw it in theaters. I guess so distracted. He's so cute! I'm gonna be honest and say that I thought we were doing the q and A. I I didn't know that this was a review, so, hey guys. What? I thought we were doing the roommate q and A. What? I told you we were reviewing the movie. I told you earlier that you sh could review it afterwards. I didn't know that I was gonna be in it. Are we doing spoilers? <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will be doing spoilers because we have to talk about the ending that happens because, oh my gosh, it's a huge twist at the end. Wow. So... <laughs> wow. So The Boy is this movie about this uh, girl, or young woman I should say, her name's Greta, and she is from America, she's from Montana, and she goes to the UK. She got a nanny job. And with this family and if you guys have seen the trailer then obviously you know that it's with this older couple and their son who is a porcelain doll yes so weird things start happening and it's like supernatural and you think that the doll is haunted so I just have to point out that this is very it's not a horror it is definitely not a horror so don't go into it thinking that it's going to be scary or horror or anything because it comes to a point where it's like oh this isn't even scary anymore it becomes an action movie and it's very romantic drama ish there were some supernatural elements to it and the scare factors were horrible I did not like them at mm -hmm. all there was nothing like original Nothing Although, original, all cliche. The one jump thing scares. that I thought was the coolest hmm. was the hair in the shower. That it was cut? That yeah, that like her hair was cut and she like noticed that her hair was cut off because it was like somebody took a strand of your hair. Yeah. I would give it a six out of ten. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, which makes me really scared. I think I'm gonna really love the witch though, um, just based on the trailer, but then again I thought I'd love the forest and I thought I'd love this one. So if you guys have seen Gone Girl, which is a really great film, not a horror, not horror related or anything, but it has a really great storyline to where basically every 30 minutes you think you know what's happening and then they switch it up and you're like, well basically the boy has a very similar, not as like outlandish and like super cool as Gone Girl was, but there were these sudden like changes where all of a sudden you're like, oh, this is, okay, now we're going in this direction. Mm -hmm. There's just like a lot of turns and swerves. So I thought that was really cool, especially with like the ending. Like it ended up not being what you expected, but at the same time yeah. it wasn't cool enough to where nope. when I thought it was like, oh, this isn't what I expected. Wow. It was like, oh, this isn't what I expected. Okay. So I, I enjoyed it though. I, I definitely give it like a seven and a half, eight, probably just on like entertainment value. Okay. Um, not on like a horror scale though. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now you're thinking Jezebel. So now we're getting on to spoilers in the ending. I would say skip it if you're going to see it in theaters. I didn't like it enough to actually go, especially as a horror because it was not a horror at all. So at one point, okay, well first I just want to comment on the fact that I didn't like the plot at all. I didn't like this plot of Greta and her abusive boyfriend and how he made her lose her baby, like all this stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't feel attached to her. I didn't really care for the older people. Oh, that moment was really sad. You know who I had the most emotional attachment to? Hmm. Was the the grocery guy when he was first flirting with her in the kitchen. I was like, <laughs> oh my God, he's so charming. Like, she's totally gonna fall in love with him. Like, yeah. obviously I'm over here in like romance novel and meanwhile yeah. it's supposed to be like a thriller, suspense movie. But I think he was the one that I was the most like involved with because yeah. he, I felt like him really trying for her and her character was all like, I want to go home. This is weird. I need mm -hmm. money. Now I actually like the boy. Yeah. Oh, now I don't know what's happening. I feel like the character development with her came way too late where they like got yeah, deep with it totally. when she was like, I lost my baby because of this and that. But in the beginning, she's like on the phone with her sister and her sister's like, this is exactly what you need. You needed to get away. And I'm like, they're not going to tell us. Sure enough. I know. Good night. I'm just like, <laughs> So at one point her ex shows up in the UK where she's at and he gets a little physical, a little intimidating with her and Brahms comes into play. Yes, she asks for Brahms help to get rid of the boyfriend guy and he takes the doll and smashes it and that's where everything changes because then the doll is no longer a thing and then it becomes no longer supernatural which was weird because all of a sudden you hear the house like shifting and like things are happening and it's really loud and you're like okay is it a demon is it a ghost it was released from the doll and then you see the actual Brahms who was t we were told that he died in a fire when he was eight 20 years later he comes out of a wall 
You know what I didn't understand though was like he was so big and I feel like they wanted him to be super big so that it would give more of like a scare factor of like this huge guy chasing you and stuff but I'm like neither of the parents were big like neither of them were that tall no. so it's a little bit unbelievable for me to believe that he was their kid yeah and on top of that why did we never hear him when he would be creeping around like you would hear him when they would want you to hear him like the footsteps mm -hmm. and you're like mm -hmm. it's the doll and it's running it's scary but I'm like, okay, if he was actually that big running <laughs> throughout the house, you would hear him all the time. I would constantly hear him, especially in the walls. It's like, you only got like this much space. You yeah. can't just be quiet. <laughs> especially to be locked up for all those years, I would have. It would have been grow. more believable for him to be like petite and like fragile and small. But he I think it would have. Yeah, but it would have taken away from the aspect of at the end, he was this huge guy who was throwing them around and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it wouldn't have worked that way. So I think yeah. that's probably why they went with that. Like, why would he be that buff? What, what was he working out yeah, for 20 I know, years? No, no. He lived in a literal basement but yeah. it was still it was a nice like oh moment yeah it was okay it was like different because I wasn't sure where they were gonna go with it how they were gonna end it and I didn't mind it so I thought it was okay I definitely would say it's a good movie to watch like if you have nothing to do or if you're at home and it's a night in kind of thing when it comes out on DVD or even with friends yeah like for the jump scares being like oh gonna come yeah. out any moment but um, in theaters or as a good quality film or a really entertaining film not not so much yeah let us know your thoughts down below and what else do you want us to review slash react to um including trailers you know i do that now so let us know down below anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll talk to you soon bye